Dear learners, today we are going to see about the introduction of basic memory structure in memory devices. Memory devices are electronic components that are used to store and retrieve information. They are essential in functioning of computers, smartphones and other digital devices. The memory cells are made up of storage cells, for example transistors, that can be programmed to store binary information in the form of ones and zeros. Each word here, each word stored in a memory location is represented by an address. The capacity of memory unit is the total number of bytes that can be stored. Here, this block diagram shows the memory unit. It has an N address lines to address or access 2 power N locations in the memory address lines. It has M data input or output lines through which data is transferred in and out of the memory. Also, it has two control inputs called read and write. The write input causes binary data on I.O. line to be transferred into the memory, whereas the read input causes the binary data in a memory location to be transferred out of the memory. Basic memory structure in memory devices can be broadly classified into two types. One is volatile and another one is non-volatile memory. The first one, volatile memory such as random access memory is temporary and requires power to maintain the stored information. Non-volatile memory such as read-only memory and flash memory can retain stored information even when there is no power supply. Here, primary memory is classified as read random access memory and read only memory. The RAM further classified into static random access memory and dynamic random access memory. Here, ROM is subdivided into Programmable read-only memory and electrically erasable programmable read-only memory. Secondary mem memory are classified as SSD, hard disk, compact disk, floppy disk, magnetic tab, tape. Understanding the basic memory structure in memory devices is critical in design and development of new technologies. From mobile devices to cloud computing, the basic memory structure in memory devices continues to play a vital role in shaping our digital world. I hope you found this introduction to the basic memory structure in memory devices informative. Thank you.